Last one, last one, last one of our meeting. My, my, my one good friend now, my mentor is Walt Thurston, he taught me this. He said, woman, take sex and trade it for love. Men can develop a love for sex. And you've got to be careful with that. Because, because women are very emotionally attached. Men are very physically attached. And you're as woman, you've got to be careful to never ever trade sex for love. That a guy tells you, if you love me, no? oh, sleep with me. You know what, you go tell like, that fat head to go fly a kite, okay? <laughs> Please. Tell him to go fly a kite. And some guys even say this, oh man, I'm so in love with you. I need to sleep with you now. How else I'm gonna explode? <laughs> Leave him to explode. Leave him. You don't want to date suicide bombers now, do you? Leave him to explode rather. Finish and clap. And guys. <laughs> Oh, this is still not done. Oh, man. So, guys, going back to your... Be careful on what you expose yourself physically. Hear me out. It starts off with a picture, turns to a magazine, turns to a videotape, turns to stuff on your cell phone. Turns to you just wanting your sleep with girls all the time because why you can easily develop a love for sex. And men that have that, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. Because the guys that rape women, it starts off with them watching pornography and all those things. And then it spins out of control. Because a woman's not giving them what they want, so they end up raping her. Because why? They don't love the woman, they have a love for sex. You gotta understand this, man. You gotta be able to set boundaries for yourself as men. And it's the biggest thing that trip up men over and over and over. I've seen great men of God fall and stumble because they begin to develop a love for sex. Big thing. And young men, if you're struggling with that area, Man, I was struggling, but thanks be to God, Jesus found me. Jesus found me. And we're making your foundation. And that's your intimate part of who you are. And that's who you spend time with to feel intimacy. Everything changes. Everything changes. Because there's no men that are men. And since men are not men, women are not women. And we need to love as men. Men are supposed to be the leaders of the home. Men are going to be the leaders of the home. And in many homes, men are not even existent there. Why? Because men run away from responsibility. You see, the word responsibility is a response to a God-given ability. You got to understand that, man. So tonight, man, I don't know where you're at. I don't know where you're at. And the thing what I'm going to end off with, just, just, to, just to put perspective on everything, is a school clip I found. It speaks about sex, but it speaks about marriage as well, but everything that I've discussed about and tackled about, he basically sums it up in a short clip and in a cool, poetic way. So just keep your eyes on the screen as, as this guy is just going to explain everything man in, in such a cool way and take note exactly what he says especially about Jesus and and marriages and relationships all right